And right now, John Charlson is standing by live with more on the police reforms and the new changes to LMPD that was talked about by Mayor Greg Fisher. Hey, John. Well, tonight, while the settlement is unprecedented, Brianna Taylor's family wanted more. And so do these folks behind me who've been protesting day in and day out at Jefferson Square Park. Now, Mayor Greg Fisher announced that along with the $12 million, programs are being set up to improve police work in the community. Among the new rules, officers will have their body cams on, not only responding to scenes, but also while they're recovering items at the scene, such as cash, before they go into evidence. All officers will also be subject to random drug tests, and any kind of search warrant must go through a commanding officer's review and approval before it goes to a judge to sign off on. Now, one of the most interesting moves is providing incentive to police officers to not only work in certain neighborhoods, but also to live in them by getting a housing credit. We sought forth as we went through negotiating the terms of this settlement and the reform to engage police officers within the community, not just when they're dispatched to runs but to get out, to volunteer in those communities in which they serve, to get to know their communities in other settings. Now, Mayor Fisher pointed out that other cities have the housing credit program, and those cities include Atlanta, Chicago, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. Reporting live in Louisville, I'm John Charlton, WHS 11 News.